Hello and welcome to the Science Department's Guide on your options for S3. It's time for you to pick your subjects for third year. It's been a long time you've not been in school this year and it probably would have been time you'd been able to ask your teachers a wee bit about the science subjects. Now because that's not been possible this year, to see your teachers in person quite as often, this slideshow will hopefully try and answer some of the questions you might have. Questions like, what are the three science subjects? What are they all about? What will each science involve in third year, if I do go on to pick them? What science subjects should you pick if you've got a particular job in mind? The aim of this little presentation in the next few minutes will be to hopefully tell you the answers to those questions. So studying the sciences in S3 should start off by saying it's possible for you to study two of the three sciences uh, for some of you. Some of you will pick only one, but that is completely up to you. Uh, it will depend on what you want to do with your, your further on in school, uh, what you decide to do about that. First of all, you might be asking yourself, well, why pick science in the first place? Science is the study of the world around us. It allows us to find out why things happen. In all three of the sciences, we find out new information to explain our world, often through practical work. You will have a bit of experience of that through first and second year already. You may wish to study one or two of the sciences because you enjoy them, or because you're interested in a job in the sciences in the future. What I would say though, folks, if you're enjoying a subject, that is a very good reason to continue with it, because you're much likely to do better in a subject that you're enjoying. So let's look at the first, firstly let's look at the three individual sciences that are available to study. Firstly, in alphabetical order, biology. Biology is the study of living things and the organisms that live in the environment around us. The biology topics you covered in first and second year. Now this is where you'll start to get a wee picture for what biology actually is. You may remember from first year the cells and microbes topic that also included the microbes project where you looked at different diseases and what microbes caused them. We also looked at cells and cell structure. Later on we then looked at reproduction. We looked at um, the sperm and egg and how they come together and where they're produced and things like that. We also looked at a wee bit about the effects that your environment can have on a developing baby. And then later on in second year we worked towards human body systems. We looked at the digestive system, we looked at the process of respiration and some of the other systems that go on inside the, the human body. Now if you do pick decide to pick um, S, the biology in S3, it will cover some parts of the National 4 and 5 uh, courses, including cells and membranes, which is something you've covered in first and second year. We'll look a wee bit closer at the, the, the structure of DNA and what it does. We'll look at proteins and enzymes, genetic engineering, which you'll find out about, and also more about the process of respiration. So that'll hopefully give you a little bit of a picture to what biology is about. The second option, science-wise, is chemistry. Chemistry is the study of the substances that make up the entire universe, as well as how and why they react and interact with one another. To cast your mind back to the chemistry topics you covered in first and second year, we had model of matter where we looked at solids, liquids and gases and the interchange between those states, melting, freezing, evaporating, etc. The next chemistry topic we looked at was the periodic table that you might remember. We looked at atomic structure. We looked at the different elements that make up compounds and that make up all the substances around us. And then we focused a wee bit after that on chemical reactions, things we can do to speed up chemical reactions, the signs of a chemical reaction. Uh, there was lots of experiments to do at that point. And the most recent topic that a lot of us have really have just covered 
in chemistry is acids and alkalis. So the pH scale, using indicators to work out the pH of certain um, substances, both acids and alkalis. And the idea of neutralisation as well. S3 chemistry course, similar to the biology and the physics courses, in the sense that they cover some of the national four and national five outcomes. Uh, the rates of reaction, which again was covered by the chemical reactions topic in first, in first year. Uh, atomic structure and bonding, so again there's wee bits and pieces from first and second year that are involved there as well. Formulae and reacting quantities and acids and bases, which is really just a sort of new name for acids and alkalis. The third of the three sciences, of course, is physics. Physics is the study of energy and forces in the universe and how these laws control the behaviour of the smallest particles right up to the largest objects in our solar system. To remind us of the physics topics that were covered in first and second year, we had light and other radiations. That included a, pro a project about um, a type of radiation. We looked at light boxes at that point, colour mixing, refraction, reflection, uh, lenses as well. So there's loads in that topic, very near the start of first year. Then moved on to look at heat and renewable energies as well. And there was a little uh, islands project you might remember from that part of the, the topic. We looked at the movement of heat through different substances or different states of matter as well. And most recently, some of you have not quite moved on to this yet, but moved on to electricity, which is part of the physics uh, the content of physics. Again, the S3 physics course covers various things, including waves, parameters and behaviours. The electromagnetic spectrum, which will draw on quite a lot of what you've done in first and second year, as will refraction of light. And we also have a little bit on nuclear radiation as well. There are lots to think about there. Now, along with, it's probably worth mentioning at this stage as well, the skills that you've been learning in first and second year, your problem solving skills, such as averages and percentages and reading graphs, drawing graphs, they will become very important as we move forward into third year science. Um, so those are skills that we will continue to help you with, but they are important skills to have going, to be going into third year with as well. And that's why we've been working on them so hard through first and second year. Now, what if you have got in mind a job in science already? You think, you, you know, you, maybe you want to be a midwife or maybe you want to be a research um, scientist or maybe you want to work in science journalism or maybe you want to be a doctor or a dentist or a vet or, a, or any of these other things that are clearly linked to science. There are tons and tons of options in, in the STEM area. Um, loads of engineering jobs where you'll need physics and, load, and chemistry and loads and loads of uh, health-based jobs where you'll need biology. So if you've got a career in mind, you should think very carefully about the best options for you science-wise. Lots of jobs will want you to have one science, but some will insist on you having two. That means it matters that you think about that now, because if you don't pick two sciences at the start of third year, it does become that a little bit more difficult to pick them up later in school. Be careful to consider this now at your first option stage. The next slide will show you some of the careers that studying the sciences can lead to. You may recognise this slide from the board that's up in the, um, in the corridor, in the science corridor. What we now have is an interactive version of this. So on the next slide is a QR code which if you pause the video, you can scan and it will take you into um, the interactive version of this board. Um, I will put it up on the screen now, but it will also be available in the science corridor as well. So if you scan that, it should take you straight to the, the roadmap. That will let you see just some of the entry requirements for some of these courses and some of these jobs that will involve perhaps taking two sciences to so think very carefully if you do have your eye on any jobs that might be linked to science. So, things to think about when you're, you've got your options form in front of you and you're thinking about the sciences. If you're doing well and enjoying science this year, I would advise you to take two for now, if you can. 
If you want to study a science subject in S4, you will have to have done it in S3. So make sure that you know that. Make sure that you're picking things in S3 and not thinking, well, I'll leave that till S4 because it's not going to be a possibility. Pick your subjects based on your interest, not necessarily your individual test results. So don't think, well, I got all the biology tests right, but I kind of prefer the chemistry subject. If you prefer chemistry, you would go for chemistry. You wouldn't pick subjects based on what it seems as though you're good at because you'll be better at the things you're enjoying, the things that you're more engaged with. And the final thing is so important, be informed. Ask your science teacher if you've got any questions about any of this. I know it's been difficult being in touch with your science teachers or any teachers because we've been online, but we are available in our class when you're back in school. We are available at any point via email or on your class team. Thanks so much for listening to me, guys. I hope that we'll, we'll see loads and loads of you in third year. Um, and if you have any more questions, please don't hesitate to ask one of, your, one of the science teachers from the department. Thank you.